Leading Indicator 1.3, teachers have formal roles in the decision-making process regarding school initiatives. When the coalition team looked at Leading Indicator 1.3, this was an area that they identified as an area of strength for Park Elementary. Both students, staff, and parents all agreed that this was an area of strength. Beginning with the students, the students feel that teachers help make important decisions at their school. The mean was a 4.12. Students feel that teachers have a decision-making ability due to the fact that they come into the classrooms and are the ones that are driving the instruction within the classroom. Then we moved on to classroom teachers. There are multiple pieces of evidence that show that teachers have the ability to have a formal role in the new initiatives within the building. One, we are currently implementing benchmark literacy. The district provides the CSA at the end of the unit to get data based on all students within the district. But the teachers have the formal role of being able to have the autonomy to develop their unit based on what their students need, based on those essential standards. Also, as the teachers develop their literacy units, they also create CFAs that will be used during the unit to determine the needs of each student within their classroom. This is data used to drive instruction until we get to the final CSA. Next, teachers also have a formal say in their daily schedules. One, the building principal begins with a committee that works on creating a master schedule. This allows for the AM teachers, art, music, and PE to be placed into the schedule. This master schedule is important because Park Elementary currently sent shares their AMP teachers with another building. So in order to meet both schools' needs, they have to share their teachers accordingly. Once the master schedule has been set with lunch and when the AMP teachers will be at Park Elementary, the teachers are allowed to select times throughout the day to put in their core curriculum. Also, they have the autonomy to put in when they are going to have their structured PE time. And for most of our teachers, it's 20 minutes in the morning and 20 minutes in the afternoon. Some do 20 and 20 in the afternoon or 20 and 20 in the morning. Also, teachers have the autonomy to determine when pause time will be provided. Pause time is providing academics with support. This is our tier two intervention time. Teachers work with their grade level teams to determine a 30 minute slot to where they will be using their data to divide students accordingly. This is a time for not only tier two interventions, but also for students on grade level or above to reach to be taught enrichment. And the last, our teachers are implementing professional learning communities. The key factor to this is grade level teams are able to determine their agenda based on the needs of their students. Teachers create their agenda with creating a time to meet and discuss what will be taught and how it will be taught to ensure students receive the curriculum needed to meet their essential standards. Also, looking at our data, our teacher, or not only do our staff and students feel like we are meeting the needs and having teachers have input, so do our parents. Our parents also feel that in 1.3, that teachers have a say in the decisions that go on at their children's school. This was a very high category for our parents. They were a 3.92 and a 3.88. The purpose that many of our parents feel that parents have a decision is based on sending home two safe folders with work in it and also 
with parent meetings when teachers are discussing the curriculum and how their child is being taught. For many parents, they feel this is a way that teachers have input and they are sharing it with them as parents. To continue to grow with this strength, we will continue to give um, our teachers at Park Elementary time to have formal roles in their decision making. We will, at the end of this school year, we will do a survey to see how Tier 2 time worked, which is our pause time, and also we will get feedback on how to make our master schedule more effective for the classroom teachers for next year. One of the other ways that we are helping to give our teachers decision-making um, access is we have been eating breakfast within our classroom. So next for the next school year, we are going to get feedback from our teachers to see if they would like to continue eating breakfast in the classroom or going back into the cafeteria. So as a building, we are going to continue to grow in this area of strength to ensure that we stay as a leader in allowing our teachers to have formal roles in the decision making regarding school initiatives at Park Elementary.